In the last video, we talked about some things to consider to help you pick out a driver loft that will maximize your distance. In this video, let's look at how to better select a good length for your driver. In general, the longer the driver that you swing, the farther you'll hit the ball. This is because the driver that is longer in length will travel a greater distance in the same amount of time as the shorter length driver and will thus have more power. Remember, power is the function of distance and time. So if you increase the distance traveled in the same amount of time, the greater the power. The problem with this is that the longer and longer the club gets, usually the more difficult it is to make good contact. If you miss the sweet spot by as little as an inch on your driver, you could easily be losing 20 yards or more on your tee shot. So there's a balance to be struck. What I'd recommend doing is going to a local golf shop or someplace similar where you can swing drivers of different lengths. Put some white colored tape on the face of the drivers and make a few swings. Look at the ball marks left on the tape and see what length of driver you can most consistently hit the center of the club face. There's nothing wrong with using a 48 inch driver. Most professional long drivers use drivers near this length and I personally shot a 69 in a tournament using a 48 inch driver. However, I think that most people would be better off with a shorter driver, and it may be shorter than you think. Many drivers these days are sold in 45 to 46 inch lengths, but the PGA Tour average driver length usually floats around 43 and a half to 44 and a half inches. If a professional golfer uses short drivers like this, you may be better off with one as well. I hope this tip on choosing your driver length was of use to you and that you'll in turn find more fairways and hit longer drives.